Concept art. Concept artists develop the initial ideas or concepts of visual media such as films or animations, video games, comics or manga, any other visual media. Think of concept art as multiple rough drafts that work to set a tone or a mood for whatever the final product is supposed to be. It not only develops the ideas, but shows progress to directors, clients, and investors. Just a side note here, you will can find on Glassdoor the uh, median salary or average salary of concept artists is around $70,000 in the United States. Of course, it's going to depend on where you live and how much experience you have as well as how much competitors you are up against, but just something to keep in mind. <clears throat> There are, in general, a few different um, areas of concept art. And the first one, and most widely acknowledged to be related to concept art, is world building. This is where you are basically designing the scene. You're setting the scene, you're setting the tone like you would with an introduction, I'm sorry, introduction into a book or a short story. You are showing the atmosphere, what the world is like, what type of creatures live there. Does it have a sort of tone to it? Think about your color schemes throughout this. Watch as these change as we look at different types of world building concept art. Is there a fantasy element to it? Is it meant to be magical? Is it kind of steampunk? Notice again the color change throughout each of these. So always keep in mind your color schemes, those different concepts that we learned about color. The next area is character concept design. Now, a lot of times like this ranges um, from very, very rough to more refined and it changes over time as multiple artists get their input or uh, the direction changes of the characters. Also, again, you need to be mindful of the colors that you're intending as a concept artist to go into these characters and how that plays into the world around them. Think about, are their body parts elongated like the person on the right? Are they very tall and lean? Are they short? We've done a project on character art, talking about the different shapes, different sizes, um, looking for common shapes throughout a character. All of that stuff goes into play whenever you're thinking about character art. Now the next area I'm going to kind of lump into one overarching word called props. In reality, there are concept artists that focus primarily just on vehicles, just on weapons, just on clothing, on armor, etc. But I'm going to call all of these things props. Anything that supports your characters and their world. Just like the shoes in this image. Look how many different designs of shoes this, this artist went through. Or specific areas of armor that you might want to zoom in on and refine. The artist spent a lot of time on this helmet, drawing it from different points of views. For the very first part in this project, it's going to be a multi-step project, and it's going to be a little bit of a lengthy one um, if it's done correctly. I don't want you to try to rush to this. I want you to think about if you were actually a concept artist, how you would do this. Except in this case, you are going to be creating your own story. So the first step comes in with writing down your ideas. You need to create a world with its own rules. Or is it like the world we live in in present day? Is there anything different? Um, and Kanto just came out. It's like a real world setting, but with some magical elements. The family has magical elements that normal people don't have. And then you also need to create characters that fit into it, fit into that world. 
On the Google Classroom, I'm going to um, attach a character interview in the form of a Google Doc, as well as a world building Google Doc. I want you to complete both of these and make sure you submit them for my review. This is step one of the process and this is to help you kind of get an idea of where the story in your head takes place and who the characters are in your story. I am not going to require you to write an entire story or book or short story, anything like that, but I want you to have kind of a general idea so that whenever we start developing our concept art, you have directions and decisions made already. I'm really excited about this project. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So go ahead and get started. Let me know when you've completed those Google documents. Good luck.